Do you know the 10 signs of pancreatic disease? That's a question few can answer confidently. Pancreatic disease, often a silent assailant, can lurk unnoticed until its advanced stages. Early detection is key to improving prognosis and enhancing quality of life. It's our mission today to shed light on this often overlooked issue, to empower you with knowledge and awareness. Our journey today will navigate the complex landscape of pancreatic disease, illuminating the often subtle yet significant signs that may signal its presence. We'll explore each sign in detail, providing you with the tools to recognize and understand them. This isn't about creating fear, but fostering understanding and vigilance. Remember, health is a lifelong journey and knowledge is your compass. Equip yourself with the right information and you can make informed decisions about your well-being. So buckle up and prepare for a deep dive into the realm of pancreatic health. Let's dive into the 10 signs of pancreatic disease. The first sign of pancreatic disease is abdominal pain. This isn't your typical stomach ache, though. This pain is often a dull and persistent discomfort that may radiate to your back, making it feel as though it's enveloping your midsection. It's typically centered in the upper abdomen but can sometimes be felt lower down as well. The pain might flare up after you eat, especially if you've had a high-fat meal, or it may be more pronounced when you're lying down. It's not uncommon for it to be intermittent, coming and going without any apparent pattern. However, it's important to remember that abdominal pain is a common symptom for many conditions, not just pancreatic disease. Therefore, it's crucial not to jump to conclusions. If you've been experiencing similar pain, it might be worth discussing with your doctor. It's always better to be safe and get any persistent pain checked out. The second sign of pancreatic disease is jaundice. You might recognize jaundice as the condition that gives skin and eyes a yellowish hue. This discoloration is due to an excess of a substance called bilirubin in the bloodstream. Now, the connection between jaundice and your pancreas lies in the organ's close relationship with the liver, the body's primary bilirubin processor. When a pancreatic disease, such as pancreatic cancer, obstructs the bile duct that connects the pancreas and liver, bilirubin can build up, resulting in jaundice. This sign is a significant one because it can indicate a serious underlying condition. It's important to note, however, that jaundice may not always be evident to the naked eye, especially in the early stages or in individuals with darker skin tones. Regular checkups are therefore crucial to detect any changes in your health. Remember, jaundice is not always visible to the naked eye, so regular checkups are crucial. Unexpected weight loss is another common sign. Now you might be wondering, why would pancreatic disease cause weight loss? Well, it all comes down to the pancreas's role in digestion. This organ produces enzymes that help break down food, so when it's not functioning correctly, your body may not be absorbing all the nutrients it needs. This can lead to malnutrition and, yes, weight loss. But remember, weight loss can be a sign of many different health conditions, not just pancreatic disease. The key is to pay attention to your body. If you're losing weight and you're not sure why, it's a clear sign that something might be off. It's especially important to note any sudden unexplained weight loss. So, monitor your weight regularly. If you notice any significant fluctuations, particularly if you're losing weight without trying to, then it's time to have a conversation with your healthcare provider. If you're shedding pounds without trying, it's worth bringing up with your healthcare provider. Next up, we have digestive issues, itchy skin, and dark urine. Let's start with digestive issues. When the pancreas is not functioning properly, it can't produce enough of the enzymes that your body needs to break down food. This can lead to indigestion, bloating, and even severe abdominal pain. You may also experience changes in your bowel movements such as constipation or diarrhea. These issues can be uncomfortable, to say the least, and are a sign that something may be amiss with your pancreas. Moving on to itchy skin. This symptom might seem unrelated but it can actually be a telltale sign of pancreatic disease. When the bile ducts become blocked due to a pancreatic disorder, bile can build up in the body. This buildup can lead to jaundice, which is a yellowing of the skin and eyes. But even before jaundice sets in, this excess bile can cause your skin to feel itchy and uncomfortable. Lastly, we have dark urine. If you notice that your urine is a darker color than usual, it could be a sign of a problem. This happens when excess bilirubin, a waste product usually processed by the liver, builds up in the body. This buildup can darken the urine and is often a sign of issues with the liver or pancreas. So, how do these symptoms relate to pancreatic disease? 
The pancreas plays a crucial role in our digestive system. It produces enzymes that help break down food and hormones that help regulate our blood sugar. When the pancreas isn't working properly, it can lead to a range of symptoms, including these three. It's also important to remember that these symptoms can be caused by a number of conditions, not just pancreatic disease. That's why it's vital to consult with a medical professional if you experience any of these signs. They can help determine the root cause of your symptoms and guide you towards the best course of treatment. Notice any of these symptoms, it's time to consult with your doctor. Our final set of symptoms include back pain, blood clots, fatty stools, and onset of diabetes. Let's begin with back pain. It's a common ailment, but did you know it could be a sign of pancreatic disease? Persistent pain, especially in your upper abdomen that radiates to your back, might indicate a problem with your pancreas. It's not your typical backache, and it doesn't improve with rest. If you're experiencing this, it's definitely worth discussing with your doctor. Next, we have blood clots. The pancreas role in producing proteins that help our blood clot is essential, but if there's a disruption in this process, it could lead to the formation of blood clots. These clots can block blood flow in veins or arteries, leading to potentially serious complications. If you notice swelling, redness, or warmth in your leg, or if you experience sudden breathlessness, it might be a sign of a blood clot. Third on our list is fatty stools. If your pancreas isn't functioning properly, it might not produce enough enzymes to break down fats. This can cause your stools to become oily or greasy, and they may float or be difficult to flush. They might also have a foul smell. It's not the most pleasant topic, but it's an important one. Lastly, we have the onset of diabetes. The pancreas plays a crucial role in regulating our blood sugar levels. If it's not doing its job, it can lead to diabetes. Symptoms of diabetes include excessive thirst, frequent urination, unexplained weight loss, and fatigue. If you're experiencing these symptoms, especially if they're new, it's important to get checked out. In closing, these symptoms might not seem related, but they all point to a potential issue with your pancreas. Remember, it's always better to be safe than sorry. Experiencing any of these symptoms should prompt a visit to your healthcare provider. Now that we've gone over the 10 signs of pancreatic disease, it's important to remember that early detection is key. We've covered a lot of ground today, from abdominal pain, a common sign of many health issues, to the more specific signs like jaundice and weight loss. The digestive issues, itchy skin and dark urine we discussed, are not to be taken lightly. These could be your body's way of telling you that something is seriously wrong. Always pay close attention to these signs and never brush them off as just minor annoyances. We also delved into back pain, blood clots, fatty stools, and diabetes. While these signs can be associated with various conditions, they are also linked to pancreatic disease. Remember, it's not about creating fear, but about fostering awareness. Your health is your wealth, and it's crucial to keep an eye out for these signs and listen to what your body is telling you. If you've noticed any of these signs, it's essential to consult with a medical professional. Self-diagnosis can be dangerous, and it's always better to seek expert advice. You're not alone in this journey. There are numerous resources and support systems out there to help you navigate through this. It's also crucial to note that each person is unique. What might be a sign for one person may not be the same for another. That's why it's so important to be in tune with your body and aware of any changes, however small they may seem. As we wrap up, remember that these 10 signs are not definitive proof of pancreatic disease. They are indicators that something may be amiss and it's important to take them seriously. Your input matters. Share your insights, questions, or even your own journey in the comments section below. I'm here to engage with each and every one of you, so don't hesitate to drop a comment. Let's build a supportive community together. Also, if you enjoyed this video and got any value from it, please like and subscribe for more quality content. Thank you.